A pivotal moment occurred when I was reading Chicken Soup for the preteen or teenage soul. I can't really remember how old I was, um, but at that time, I think I was at a really low period, always feeling like I didn't fit in anywhere, even though on the outside, I was a really sociable and happy-go-lucky girl. I can't really remember th what the story or passage was, um, but it was somewhere along the lines that um, no one actually really cares about you, uh, but not in a negative way. It was definitely a light bulb moment for me that I didn't have to care about how others think of me or that internal conflict of not being at peace with my inner self. And things did turn for the better after that and shaped my value system. After completing my secondary or middle school education in Singapore, I got into Eastman for my undergrad studies. So I didn't get to go to high school and immediately entered a whole new world. I was completely ignorant back then, like not even knowing the difference between a clarinet and oboe. Uh, Mr. Zvi Zeitlin had the single biggest impact on my life thus far. He was my mentor and professor at Eastman not only through his teachings, but the way he lived his life and how he cared for my development as a musician and person. His worldview on life, music and the arts really showed me what curiosity, dedication and resilience are. Even though he has already passed on, I definitely carry those values forward in my own life and as a musician, educator and most importantly, as a person. The pivoting moment came when my ex-bosses approached me in 2015 to take over the music school where I was teaching at since 2012. The school was established in 1981 and they wanted the school to be in the right hands after they retired. They had faith in me even though I had zero knowledge in business or management. So I took a long time to decide and realize that despite not knowing anything, I would rather take risk and learn than to stay in my comfort zone. The steep learning curve has been so invigorating for me. It taught me to see things from a beginner's and growth mindset. So with that ongoing experience, together with some extreme life changes, I realized how finite time is and how a global collective could really help shape a healthier ecosystem. And that this led me to 12 Petals.